Here we go. Welcome back, Revolt family, for another workout of the day. Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, again, we are open, we're rolling back open for business. We do have our 24 seven access available. If you're interested, you wanna learn more guys, check us out at revoltfitness.net. Uh, send us your information, we'll contact you and go and get you set up for the 24 seven access if you're interested in that. If you got a crazy schedule, it'll probably work really well for you. So today's workout of the day is opposite day. And the way that this is gonna work, we're gonna go ahead and do 30, 20, 10, alternating dumbbell power snatches and push-ups, and then directly into 10, 20, 30, alternating dumbbell hang, clean and jerks, and burpees. All right, so you're going from one straight into the other. Fun little couplets here that you're gonna be hitting hard with that dumbbell. As always, you wanna make sure you get a good warm up, especially when we're moving weight, when we've got low that we're gonna be pushing around, guys. You wanna make sure you get a good warm up, get all the muscles firing and ready to hit the workout hard. Today's warm up is gonna be one time through, one round. If at the end of this you feel like you need a little bit more, go ahead and maybe hit it a second time. So today's warm up, we're gonna start off with 30 second active Spider-Man. We're gonna take a nice deep lunge and Coach Cat, whatever leg is forward, she's gonna go ahead and bring her forearm to the ground, kinda of open up the hip a little bit, open up the hamstrings a little bit. And then you can go ahead and just switch back and forth for 30 seconds. Once you do that for 30 seconds, you're gonna go ahead and do one push up. With the push up, I'm always thinking about keeping those elbows nice and tight to the body. Core is tight, glutes are tight. From here, she's gonna go ahead and do 30 seconds of mountain climber. So she's gonna bring one foot up as close as you can to your hand. I really want you to focus on trying to land with your foot flat by your, uh, by your hand. Once you do that, you're just gonna switch, switch, and you're gonna continue doing that. If you feel pretty comfortable, you feel froggy, go ahead and do it a little bit faster. You're gonna get your heart rate up a little bit more, and that's a good thing. Once you do that for 30 seconds, now you're gonna give me two push-ups. Same thing, tight core, tight glutes, tight quads, elbows nice and tight to the body. Once you do that, now you're gonna do 30 seconds of down dog. So down dog, she's gonna press into the ground and drive her hips up, trying to get her heels as close to the ground as she possibly can, kind of loosen up those hamstrings. Once you do this for 30 seconds, now you're gonna give me three push-ups. So three push-ups, again, elbows nice and tight, position top to bottom, nice straight line. Once you do that, now you're gonna give me frog hops for 30 seconds. All you're gonna do, kick the feet up to the hands and then right back, up to the hands and then right back. And if you notice when she's in that feet close to the hands, she looks like a frog. That is why we call it a frog hop, guys. Once you do that for 30 seconds, you're gonna get back into that push-up position. Give me four push-ups now. And then once we do these four push-ups, we're gonna go ahead and do 30 seconds of slow burpees. What are slow burpees? What we all probably do all the time anyway, but we're gonna go ahead and just kind of slowly move through that position with a jump and clap at the top, back down to the ground, thighs and chest touch that ground, pop the hips off the ground, get those feet as close to your hands as you can, nice and flat on the ground, and then a little jump and clap at the top. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is five push-ups at the end, and this is going to be your warm-up again. If you wanna go ahead and hit it maybe a, a few times through to make sure you're ready to hit the workout, go ahead and do so. Once you've done that, grab your dumbbell, your odd object, your kettlebell, whatever it is that you're using for the workout. Maybe hit a couple of reps, get comfortable with that, get comfortable with the load that you're gonna be using, and then you're gonna go ahead and hit that workout hard, guys. As always, uh, put your score into Wattify, put it on Facebook, Instagram, take a picture. Let us know how you're doing on social media, guys, and we will see you tomorrow.